Greetings and welcome to the anatomy of an ASA book citation. In this tutorial, we're going to briefly introduce ASA style citation and provide you with a basic example of the bibliographic citation of a book in ASA style, which we will then dissect, describing each of the constituent parts of that citation, why they're included, and how to format them in the citation. Hopefully, at the end of this video, you will understand the basic principles of citing a book in ASA style and be able to construct your own basic book citations. To start out with, what is ASA Citation? The ASA Citation style is laid out in the ASA Style Guide, which follows the standards adopted by the American Sociological Association, hence the acronym. This citation style is used most commonly by programs such as Sociology and Criminology. As of 2022, the ASA Style Guide is in its seventh edition, so the version of ASA Citation we will be covering in this video is ASA 7th. Okay, so now that we know what ASA citation is, how do we create one? Well, this is where we get into the gory details of dissecting a bibliographic citation to show you how it works. However, to really get the most out of this part of the video, it helps if you have the proper tools. At the very least, a paper and pencil or pen, and maybe some highlighters if you think they would help. Feel free to pause the video now and collect your tools. Got everything? Great. Okay, so here you see the bibliographic citation we're going to dissect. Just in case you're wondering, no, I have not written a book titled The Book of Everything, but this example will serve our purposes. Take your paper and write this citation exactly as you see it on your screen in the center of your piece of paper. Make sure to leave plenty of room for notes. Go ahead and pause the video while you write down the citation. Ready? Awesome. So I'm now going to take this citation apart piece by piece and describe each part, why it's there and how it's formatted. As this is just a basic example, I may refer to some other situations you may come across while citing sources. If at any point you need more time to make notes about what I'm talking about, feel free to pause the video and then start again when ready. Okay, the first thing that you should know about bibliographic citations in ASA is that they are formatted with what is called a hanging indent. This means that if the bibliographic citation runs more than a single line, every line after that first line is indented. You can set this up by going into the paragraph formatting settings in Microsoft Word or Google Docs. So the first part of most citations will be the author's name. In ASA style, this is formatted last name, comma first name, followed by a period. The reason to format citations last name first is structural. Your works cited page is organized alphabetically by author last name, hence it makes sense for it to be the first thing that pops out in a citation. But what happens when there's more than one author? Well, now it gets a little more complicated. The first author is formatted last name, comma, first name, comma, then you write the word and, followed by the second author, whose name is formatted first name, last name. So in this case, Heron, comma, Sean, comma, and Barack Obama. If there are three authors, you format the first two authors' names the same way, but instead of and, you just have a comma between the first two, and the word and goes after the second author, with the third author's name also formatted first name, last name. And you always end with a period. So in this final case, it would be Heron, comma, Sean, comma, Barack Obama, and Taylor Swift. Because why not? After the author name comes the year of publication, which is followed by a period. We include the date after the author name in ASA citation because both of these elements are used to link the citations in the bibliography with the in-text citations in your paper. The next element in the citation is the title. Now only certain words of the title are capitalized in an ASA book citation. These would be the first word of the title and any proper nouns if present. All other words are lowercase. Next, we include the location of the publisher. This is done to help differentiate between different editions of the book that might have been published in different locations, usually different countries, and would have had different pagination. The publisher location is followed by a colon. Finally, we have the publisher name, which is included for the same reason that different editions of a work provided by different publishers might have slightly different formatting, pagination, or content. The publisher name is followed by a period. Now, if the book in question is an electronic book, there are a couple different ways that the citation can be formatted. 
All of the information we've previously included remains the same, but we place one more bit of information at the end, and what we put there depends on how the ebook was accessed. If the ebook was accessed through a system that restricts access, like the materials in the library collection, you provide the format of the ebook, such as Adobe Digital Editions EPUB in this case. If the ebook is freely accessible to all, you can provide either the URL of the book or its DOI if available. As the DOI is more stable, it is preferred to the URL if the ebook in question has one. That takes care of the bibliographic citation. But the bibliographic citation is only one half of a complete ASA citation. Every ASA citation has two parts, the bibliographic citation and the in-text citation. Why do you need both? Well, the bibliographic citation helps your reader know what book you got the information from, but doesn't tell the reader what part of your work was taken from that book, nor does it tell the reader where in the book you cited you got that idea or quote. To learn more about in-text citations, check out our tutorial on in-text citations ASA style. Now, obviously, there are a lot more types of sources to cite than just books, and there are a lot more situations for citing books than we've covered in this brief video. If this video didn't answer your question, there are more resources available to help you cite your work. The Purdue Online Writing Lab, or OWL for short, provides an excellent website covering a lot of different scenarios and rules for ASA citation. To access the OWL, simply type in Purdue OWL ASA into Google, or the search engine of your choice. Finally, you can always contact a librarian for citation assistance. You can email us at libraryhelp, one word, at cpp.edu, or call us at 909-869-3084. Thank you for watching.